Now let's also talk about patterns. So in my old textbook, this was referred to as material rendition, which was the addition of patterns or even hatching or cross-hatching to indicate materials in both the section cut plane and on elevation surfaces, such as walls. So again, let's look how we can control that with the family and part system. So we're going to start with cut patterns because that's really the simplest. So let's open our family and part editor back up. And we're going to go back up to our parts view and change it to the next option here, which is the cut patterns. So each part can have a cut pattern assigned to it. It doesn't have to. Some parts may have no need for a cut pattern. But you can see all of our brick and our CMU and our concrete has a pattern assigned. Now, note also you can, you can assign a fill. So we could, could simply put a solid fill on certain things. So for instance, just to, to take a look at that, what if we took our two uh, CMU walls here and we toggled on this fill, you'll note it's set to this gray color 20. And I'm going to commit those changes, close this, and reload. And you'll notice now our CMU, all our CMU walls, kind of have a gray poche on them. Again, another way to make them, them stand out from the, the plain partitions. So that's one option. Let's go back to that family part editor and take a look at our cut patterns now. So that's fill. I'm going to toggle that off, and then we'll go to patterns. So patterns you know, are some type of line pattern. So it could be linear hatching, just a, like a single hatch, or cross hatching, a double hatch, or even a pattern. And just note, you, so you select from a pull down from one of those three types. You set its color, style, and weight. Again, I'm using kind of a gray scale here, so it's not as prominent as the line work, but still visible on our plots. And then we've just we set up the pattern angle. We've got 45 degrees and a pattern distance. And that distance is sort of real size, right? So we're saying three and three quarters of an inch between each line. So that's linear hatching and cross hatching. We just simply set up the distance and the angle right here in the table. Now patterning has to do with, with actually selecting a pattern cell. I'm going to slide over here. And you can see for those two wall types, we're using a pattern cell concrete. And that is one of the delivered cells. So when you pull open that pick list, you're going to find a number of different cells. And you can see different patterns and so forth within there. But we've got concrete selected. You can set a scale to that particular pattern. It's just set to one here. And so this defines the pattern. It has to be toggled on in order for it to display. So I'm going to commit those changes. Now there's one more step with patterns. I'm going to open up our drawing presentation. And note that on the cut view here, there is a toggle here to apply patterns. So if I toggle that on, then it's going to display those patterns only on the parts which have a pattern defined or toggled on. There's also an option to align the hatch to forms. And so, you know, you can imagine if we have a linear hatch that's at 45 degrees, for instance, that's, that's going to look fine as long as the walls are 90 degrees to each other. But if you happen to have a 45 degree wall, then you can imagine that the hatch ends up just aligning with the wall. So a line hatch to forms means that it will actually rotate the pattern to the orientation of the wall. Now, I don't have any 45 degree walls, so I'm actually going to leave that off because my patterning will be more continuous if I don't have that on. So I'm going to select OK, and then we'll reload. Now that should remove the fill and put a pattern in instead. Now it might be a little difficult to see that gray with this gray background, but it'll show up better when we take a look at the sheet. So you can see there that there's now a pattern on our CMU walls. And if I come out here 
to my exterior wall, I've got brick and that, that's the brick pattern that we had assigned. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.